Let's talk about St Kilda because uh, the Saints, they, they are walking tall at the moment, aren't they? They are, and we're harsh on them after round one against Collingwood, and they didn't use the ball well against Collingwood. They didn't use the ball well last year. Now they've started to use the ball really well and get into good positions, and they've got some pace and good users on the outside. So Sinclair is in career-best form. Bradley Hill's last few weeks has been outstanding. Gresham being back into the side and being on the edges and being able to use the football. Lynott, who's come across, who uses the ball well from half-back. So all of a sudden, even this one... Uh, just being able to step and hold the ball. Last year, that would have been a bombed entry for St Kilda, but they're just holding the ball a little bit further and they're getting their players in the right positions, so using the ball well. They've beaten who they needed to beat, so they've got some big games coming up. And the midfield of St Kilda, I've always been critical of it. You know, it's the same play. Crouch is in career best form. Uh, he, so that's been a real good return. Seb Ross, always been criticised. You know, too much reliance on Jack Steele, but Sinclair, he's a half-back flanker, but also just bursts through the corridor in Gresham has been unbelievable. They, they, they rave well. about McKenzie on the wing yeah. as yeah. well. Uh, yeah. Internally, they recognise him a lot yeah. um, and he was terrific again yeah. yesterday. When we and talk about the best four sides, Lordo, is it too early to put St Kilda in that bracket or have they got a fair, do they need to take a big scalp? Uh, too early yet, but uh, they're not far off, I would have thought, with what the competition's serving up. They've got the Giants on Friday night, another statement there, and I'd say yeah, they should be setting themselves to be around that mm. top four, top six mark. Brendan Lade filling in for Brett Ratton, who was out with COVID protocols, kept alive the perfect streak of stand-ins uh, winning matches of football. It started with Ashley Hansen replacing Michael Voss in round two. Jamie Graham did so in rounds three and four for Fremantle when Justin Longmuir was out. Blake Carousella filled in for Brett Rutten last week in round four and then late again yesterday. I don't know what to make of that. It's obviously well, what, what, fantastic. What, what are we to make of that, Damo? Well, what are you saying? It's fantastic for the guys getting the position, TJ, and this exposure because they've all enhanced their own standings in the way the media works and the way clubs react. And, and there's going to be a couple of clubs requiring new coaches But they, but they would be following the template of yeah. the... Yeah. I mean, yeah. if I was to go down with COVID and obviously Kane jumps in as host, um, <laughs> he would... Uh, <laughs> you would just follow the template of the show, wouldn't you? Yeah. So it's not like they're coming in with their own game plan. No, but but it is unusual, I think, to have all five examples result in the in the W. What's the matter, mate? <laughs> <laughs> You're away to a funny start. You've been good. Lord, I mentioned St Kilda's midfield yesterday. They smashed Gold Coast plus 17 at stoppage. I've been following this one closely, and you don't want to be too harsh on a young player, but Matt Rowe's going to have to find a way to get easier ball. Every time he touches the ball or disposes of it, he's got one, sometimes two opponents hanging off him. And to be an effective midfielder in the game, he's going to have to find a way to get uncontested marks and uncontested ball and increase his running power. We saw it again yesterday. He hasn't had over 20 disposals in the last month and has only had 30 disposals in his career once and that happened in round one this year. So, turns 21. We love the way he goes about it. I'm yet to see what his weapon at AFL level is going to be and he's going to need a big increase in his running power to increase the uncontestable. Patrick Dangerfield went through something similar as a young player um, and I hope he's working on that at training. It's I hope someone's working. Statement to make, can he? Went nine votes in his first Brownlow year. Yeah, but how, how long? It's like, it's like Rankin. Everyone talks about when Rankin burst onto the scene. Well, well, that was two years ago. Like, mm. now, now it is. No, no one's playing full time midfield and getting under 20 disposals. Teams are having 400 disposals a game. You can't be in there if you're getting under 20 because he can't play half forward and he can't play half back. Look, he's young and he's contested and we love his fight and his determination and his will to win contested footy, but he needs to make it a bit more easy for himself.